I wanted to show you guys a circuit for uh, infrared detector, which I put together very quickly. And uh, here it is. This is the actual diagram. Uh, you can see 9 volt on and off switch resistor, infrared LED, a couple of transistors, and uh, an LED indicator. Okay, I'm going to back that off a little bit so you can see the whole thing. And uh, that's basically the diagram. Um, now, what I built this for was to detect infrared, obviously. Now, what I used, here's the unit right here. I put it together very crudely, you see? Just a little bit of ingenuity. You can do anything. Okay, so here's the unit. Uh, if you look on the back, that's the output LED. That's the infrared sensor power switch. If you look on the back, you can see I got the battery mounted right there. Okay, you can see the transistors resistor LED on the infrared LED on the bottom and the LED on the top and the power switch and so on. It's a very very simple circuit and this will detect infrared from remote controls, uh, infrared LEDs that you may have in your stock. You're not sure if they're uh, good or not. And uh, just to give you an indication, this thing's not very sensitive because it doesn't actually have a uh, an amplifier for the LED. Uh, for the infrared uh, input, but uh, it does work at close proximity. Uh, with remote controls and things like that, it'll work up to about five feet, and uh, even without amplification. And I'm just going to show you here that I have this lighter. This is a, just a regular lighter, okay? And with a fire, I have to get up very, very close, and you'll be able to see that when I put the... I'm not going to touch it, but I'm going to be away from the sensor about a, maybe a centimeter you should be able to see the output light coming on. Okay, there you go. And let's see if I can get this continuous. I have to get up pretty close. Well, you can actually you can actually see the light flash as it detects it. There you go. Okay. Now I'm very very close to the sensor, and you can see the light coming on. All right, and there it goes off. So it actually even detects infrared light from a, uh, a fire, but you have to get up very close. Now, I can increase the sensitivity of this thing. I just have to put an amplifier uh, between uh, the infrared sensor here and the base of the, of the driver, but I don't want to because this thing's sufficient enough to detect, uh, detect uh, infrared light sources up to about five feet. That's all I need. You know, I'm not, uh, I don't really want to detect fires. I mean, fires you can easily detect with uh, your eyesight. Anyways, I just thought I'd uh, post this. Uh, anybody uh, experimenting with electronics and want to put something together real quick. Okay, you don't need any elaborate stuff. All right, now here, I just designed this. You know what this is made out of? Cardboard. Look, just cardboard. All right, you see? I just cut cardboard, bent it, shaped it. You know, great for the kids to, to uh, gain some uh, hands on uh, construction experience and a uh, little bit of electronics, a little bit of wiring. Okay, if you can follow the diagram, if you can follow the schematic like you see here, uh, basically you just wire the components one at a time. And uh, very straightforward, you don't need any terminal strips, you don't need any printed circuit boards, just wire them all together. And uh, that's basically it. There you go, simple little infrared detector. Okay, thanks guys. See you next time.